Hey everyone, I have a new pick a card reading for you guys. Today's pick a card reading is Who Has a Crush on Me? I do have it split up into Who Has a Crush on You? and Why They Have a Crush on You and What Attracted Them. So I do have four piles for you to choose from, beginning on the left with the Sunset Pink Heart. We have Lilac as number two mint green for number three and pile four you are the hot pink group timestamps are below in the description box so go ahead and timestamp through if you already know which pile you want to go with and just as a reminder this is a general reading so please keep that in mind um, when you go through the reading and listen to it and view it and I just want to say a quick thank you to all the new subscribers people who have liked shared and commented I appreciate it it means a lot to me thank you you guys so much um, with that uh, let's go ahead and get started I will meet you at your guys's pile and if you are kind of torn this one's a crush you may have several crushes so there might be a reason if you're attracted to two go ahead and listen to both piles won't hurt this one's a little bit more for fun too and I needed a little bit more of a love <laughs> type reading in my videos on my channel so go ahead and select your pile if you haven't already um, i'm gonna pass on the three deep breaths if you do like doing that from the previous pick a card readings let me know and i'll keep that in in the reading but if not we can just like forget about that part anyways so i will see you guys at your pile Hi there, Pile 1. You are the Sunset Pink Heart Pile. Thank you guys for participating. I appreciate it. If you have subscribed recently, commented, shared, liked videos, thank you so much for the support. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading, so I just want to put that out there again. Today's pick a card reading is Who Has a Crush on Me? Well, you know, on you. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I do have it split off into two different piles. We're going to find out who and then we're going to find out why they developed this crush on you. So all the cards are ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to start with who has a crush on you. I'm going to move your pink butterfly. I got butterflies today. So who has a crush on you? Let's start. I'm going to try to fit all these cards on the top so we can keep it separated so that oh, hopefully it all fits. All right, who has a crush on you? Puss in Boots, your first oracle. The butterfly. Maybe that's why I was drawn to the butterfly today, I don't know. I haven't drawn that one in a minute. Um, feelings. message in a bottle strategy and then three tarot cards so we're gonna, I'm gonna try to put this so we're all be in the frame for you guys you have the four of wands you also have the six of pentacles I'm trying to figure out I don't want to separate it, but let's do this. Okay. So this is the person that has a crush on you, pile number one, Sunset Pink Heart. You definitely have someone who is very intelligent, very charming outgoing I feel like this person is very giving especially I feel like they're close to their family and friends they like to party they like to get out for some of you this person that has a crush on you is actually your soulmate this is also a person I'm just trying to get move that there Hopefully it's still yeah it's still in the frame I might have to move that rose quartz um, stone I feel like this one's someone who is comfortable with their emotions or they can be a little bit more on the emotional side at times. 
they might be more of a person that's led by their heart rather than, you know, the mind first. But it doesn't take away from the fact that they are very knowledgeable. They're very smart, very quick-witted, very funny, very kind of just like one of those people that a lot of people really are drawn to, like charismatic, that sort of thing. Message in a bottle. I feel like for some of them, they might be like a writer. They might enjoy reading. They possibly also, just because I wanted to look at that, might be someone who does like traveling, is attracted to the water, like spending time out. You have like two cards where I'm drawn to the water. Might like swimming. Um, is also part of it. Kayaking kind of maybe like a daredevil for some of you like they really are the adventurous type like getting out like I'm getting like white water rafting even skydiving for some of them and let me look at the butterfly card mind body and soul transformation you're being guided to embrace change and detach from what no longer serves you begin now to recognize your own beauty and elegance and the world will do the same yeah you probably have a very attractive person that has a crush on you Pile number one, the mind, of course, the body. Yeah, that kind of goes with what I was saying about being adventurous outdoors, probably maybe into sports um, as well, athletic, probably into the gym, kind of like a workout, you know, thing that they have that they're really into fitness and health kind of thing for some of you as well. Let's see if there's anything else that I can pick up on. Yeah, I mean, for this person, I do feel like they are close to family. They might have younger brothers and sisters, possibly, or they might be the youngest of several. I don't feel like it's an only child, and that's going to be for some of you. Just keep that in mind. It's not for everybody, that part of it. Um, for some reason, uh, the Six of Swords is like I feel like a connection between that and the butterfly for some reason and maybe that's with the change like I feel like the turbulent water is like I mean of course for a lot of people change is not very it's hard to go through especially depending on the level of change that it's coming through I feel like they have a way of dealing with those types of scenarios like the the harder times and they have a way of working through I feel like they've been through a lot too and that's why they've been so quick-witted like they've been able to work their way out of issues and problems that they've had um, that's 15 so you guys have um, sixes <clears throat> sorry um, so you have three sixes you have the um, the Six of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and then down here in the message in a bottle, you have a five, a 15, but one plus five is six. So you guys have three sixes, which is about <clears throat> success. So they're very successful. They're probably very abundant. Um, for signs, we do have, actually almost all of them, we have your fire energy, you have some air, we also have some earth. Um, we just don't have water signs on board so it just might be that it's in their chart it doesn't mean that they're specifically that one specific sign as well and that's really what i'm picking up on as far as who has a crush on you guys um pile number one but let's find out why so i'm just gonna move this one let's just move this here and let me Actually, I'm going to adjust the rose quartz so that we can make a little bit more room. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I adjusted it a little bit. So why, do this, why does this person have a crush on you? Let's find out. Fairy ointment, the sight. I can move that one a little bit there. Panda. Oh. You guys must be cute. <laughs> Candas are cute. I'm sorry. That's you can fight me on it. I don't care. Bonnie. 
one. You guys actually got two of these ones. Um, whoa. Soulmates, the fates. Wow. Okay, so this just went a lot deeper than what I thought it would be. And that kind of ties back for some of you. Door to Spirit. And uh, for tarot, for you guys, I only did two. I did three for them as far as who they were so we can get a little bit more hints as to who it is. But as for why, I only pulled two tarot. So you have, holy crap, you guys, you guys have another six. And you also have the eight of cups. So now you have all. Um, this is for you though. So you might have fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in your chart. That might be your sun, moon, rising kind of thing. Or um, the water. We do have the water now. So you might be... Um, let me move this. Can I move that a little bit? Can you see that? Okay, I hope that's better. Um, the water. The Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. Okay, let's just go right to it. I mentioned before that who has a crush on you for some of you would be your soulmate down here why they have a crush on you they know that you're their soulmate crazy and it's like the fate card down here as well like they know it oh my gosh that's so crazy you guys and then with the six i said there was another six you got one two three four cards with sixes i don't know if you guys um born in the month of june six day of the month for some of you maybe the year that they were born ends with a six possibly is this in focus i hope it is that better i'm sorry um there's some type of connection with that number because it's very very present in this reading i'm just trying to make sure there's nothing else not another six that i'm not picking up on you do have two eights but yeah you definitely have a few sixes in here so it might be the date that you met them. It might be the day that, you know, they're going to express themselves. I mean, there's different things. It all depends, you know. I'll leave that up to you guys, but that's something to be aware of. I want to look at the panda card. Um, balance, harmony, detachment. You're being guided to remove all self... To remove self-sabotaging thoughts and feelings and no longer label yourself or others take a step back and find the harmonic balance within your life and its relationships align with your core values and embrace the magic of today i feel like for some of you they are very aware of your spiritual side if you're religious that's probably that's another part of it but they're very aware and i think that's part of the reason why they developed this crush on you for body it they're attracted to you. <laughs> they are attracted to you. And there's really no other way of putting it. Again, with this, this is how, why they have a crush on you. So even if you're like uncomfortable with your body for, you know, certain things you may not like, as far as what the cards are saying, they do like your body. So just take that for what it's worth and be proud of who you are and what you look like. And don't, don't let that bring you down because apparently they're very attracted to you. And I feel like they feel like you're just very victorious. Like you just come out winning. Like you're a winner. You're a champion. You're a go-getter. Stuff that you do, you just come out like on top no matter what. And I'm um, going back to the panda card with... Because when I saw the Eight of Cups, I just felt like you're one of those people who doesn't deal with bullshit much. Like, you just don't have time for that. Like, who has time for that kind of thing? For the negativity, the drama, all that. Like, you just kind of, like, walk away from it. And I feel like that's something that they really, really um, are attracted to you and why they developed the crush on you. Because of that sense of detachment. Like, you know when to walk away from things that no longer serve you or that aren't right. You don't waste your time on things that don't matter. You, you're not like the petty type of person is what I'm getting with that. Um, yeah, I think with the spirit too, you just have that. I mean, I, like the panda, I just feel like it's so happy and carefree. And I feel like that's probably your guys' thing too. You're probably very nurturing and loving, especially... I'm just the soulmate card i'm just like i'm blown away that you guys got that that's beautiful i love that that came through um 
On the left, we have the Fairy Ointment, the site. Let me read that. I'm not all that familiar still with some of these um, cards on these fairy tales. So let me just take a second to read the, the bottom half because it's a lot. At least what I feel like would attach. Um, so meaning for that one. Let me just make sure I'm on the right page. Sorry. The site. So think before disclosing your gifts. Psychic powers must be treated with respect. Never attempt to take someone's power. Treat nature and the realm of a fairy with great respect. Ask, do not take. Speak of your gifts with wisdom and discretion. It is not always wise to speak of what you see without invitation. I feel like they think you're just very, very respectful as far as when it comes to your your spiritual side. For some of you, it is where you're going to have your spiritual gifts. I think every, I mean, everybody has them. It might be where you've probably maybe shared them either in person with this person, like they might have overheard you saying something to somebody, or if you posted something on social media, that might be another um, reason that they're aware of your spiritual gifts and stuff, and they're very fascinated with it. But it's not like you're, you're just very respectful, not just with the, your psychic powers and your spiritual gifts, but just in general. You're a very kind-hearted type of person, very loving, very... I just get like playful, like very happy, optimistic type of energy from you guys, from what I'm picking up on, from what the cards, and that's why, what caused this crush to come about. So let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, with the fates, I just, I really do think with that one, they kind of have this like, this was meant to be kind of thing, and... It might be where you've kind of opened their eyes to the spiritual side as well, especially with the door to spirit. Like you've given them this new perspective on life, on other things as well. Um, body, also for some of you, you might have gone through something where you're like, maybe like some type of illness possibly disease for some of you, something health related that affected your body and you've come out like, you know, come out fighting. But it also could be with the spiritual side as well. I'm trying to figure out how I want to word it. I think this one mainly might be just, like when I'm referring to that, the people that are aware of their psychic abilities. Or even if you're like an empath, like I feel like they're just aware of how, especially if you're an empath, you pick up on the emotions and stuff. And I feel like they know how you're tied into other people you can be and you connect with others easily is the other thing. Um, I'm going to go back to the panda. Yeah, I don't think there's... um too much else here. I feel like that's what I have for you guys, pile number one. So hopefully that resonates. Hopefully you can kind of pinpoint who this person is. It might be somebody in the background. This could be, you know, just a reminder. It doesn't have to be in person. It can be on social media. It might be someone you haven't met, but for a lot of you, your crush, you have a deep connection with, you know, especially with these two cards. With your soulmates, you have two soulmate cards there, so that's awesome. So <laughs> let me know if any of this did resonate in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for participating in this pick card reading. I appreciate the support and sending you all love, light, positivity, and healing, and hope for you know this crush especially if it's the same person you're crushing on that's awesome <laughs> so um i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys for your time again thank you pile number one sunset pink group bye hi group number two you are the lilac um butterfly sorry i <laughs> spaced out for a second just as a reminder this is a general reading so just keep that in mind today's pick a card reading is who has a crush on you and i have it split up into two different things who has a crush on you and why 
do they have a crush on you so all your cards are ready to go let's go ahead and get started i don't think there's anything else i really need to say other than just thank you guys if you've subscribed recently if you've participated in other pick card readings i appreciate it comments likes thank you so so much all right let's move your lilac butterfly up here and let's find out who has a crush on you the snow queen I had to move the rose quartz in the last reading to make room. Um, condor. I'm keeping all. I'm keeping it separate. So two rows is what you're gonna see. That's why I'm placing them all the way at the top and not in the center where I usually do. Service. Make sure we have enough room for everything. A leg up. Woman holding a coin. And then three tarot cards to finish it off. We have seven of wands, four of pentacles, and you have the knight of pentacles. So possibly earth sign as far as your crush. Because you do have two um, of those, two of the pentacles, and then fire. This could also be in their chart. Let's see, what do I have for you guys? Honestly, I feel like you have a very, very giving person who's willing to help out people. Very protective of the people that they love. They're not someone to rush into things. Somebody who just gives their time to other people and like not... Um, like not asking for anything in return as well. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is financially abundant um, the, for your crush. Let me read the condor. Um, transition, vision, determination. You're being guided to soar above any difficulties and self-imposed limitations. Life is a matter of pr perspective. Find a silver lining, see beyond the ordinary, and visualize yourself doing extraordinary things. You are an extension of source power. For some of you, this person has already um, spiritually awakened. If, you know, that's just for some of you. If it doesn't resonate, leave it there. But the reason I say that is because of the service card and what I just read with the condor, especially that last one, that you are an extension of source power. I feel like they're awake and they're aware. I feel with that also what I'm getting, they're very um, wise. For some of you, this person that has a crush on you is an old soul. This is not the, their first you know, time uh, down here on earth. They're very thoughtful. They're very, they think things through. They're never really in a rush. I feel like it's a very laid back type of person that has a crush on you. Very loyal, yeah, the Snow Queen. Let me just read it, see if there's anything else other than, you know, the loyal. And I have to read it because there's a few of them. Uh, okay, so loyalty to close relationships, dedication and tenacity. Friendships, enduring bonds, simple love is stronger than fleeting glamour. A time of coldness will be followed by warm hearts and affection. Awakening from an enchantment, addiction, obsession, nature is your oracle. Yeah, that makes sense. So I do feel like they have a close bond with the people around them, their family, their friends. They will do whatever it takes to keep them safe. Like, they will protect them. They... Just a very dependable person that's crushing on you. Um, let me try to see if there's anything else. I really do think that they are someone who can be not an overthinker. They might be at times, but I feel like they just have different outlooks and they're able to think things through, especially with the Knight of Pentacles and the Condor. They have different perspectives, like they see different, um, pers well, I guess I'm trying to say different views, like they can they're not just going to take one person's side like they know there's multiple sides to the story and they're i just get that balanced and fair with them because of it yeah just very helpful kind giving warm-hearted 
type of person. That's the energy that I'm getting as far as who has a crush on you. See if there's anything else. You guys do have two sixes, so I feel like, yeah, they are very successful at what they do, and that would explain the financial abundance. They possibly do enjoy, um, like, pets. They might be someone who travels quite a bit as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I'm getting for that. So let's find out why they have a crush on you. Understanding. Cougar, aging, time for a nap, <laughs> and then you guys got two of these, it's only supposed to be one, but thinking woman, angel of balance, I hope that stays, yeah, okay, and then two tarot for you guys, uh, wow, okay, so death and the six of cups <coughs> sorry guys i feel like you guys are mirroring each other like you guys have a lot of the same qualities because of the thinking woman because of the understanding even the cougar assertive wise decisive you guys are very very like the two peas and the pod kind of thing that's coming across <clears throat> sorry even the balance as well um aging i am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age i am filled with joy energy and beauty a vessel for the divine okay so yes i feel like they think you're very beautiful very beautiful or handsome sorry guys <laughs> don't mean to leave you guys out beautiful handsome very attractive they're very attracted to you i feel like you're a very loving person very kind warm-hearted i also feel like for a lot of you um pile number two you have that um you're young at heart is that's what i was trying to look for the young at heart especially with the um six of cups down here like you and just like your inner child, I feel like you're playful, energetic, happy, happy-go-lucky. I feel like you're charming too. I feel like you're just very good with words. I feel like some of you might be very flirtatious as well. Now, for some of you, this is not going to be for all of you. For some of you, because the Six of Cups is here, I feel like they see they see you as like a soul connection like they've known you before whether or not you're aware of it they the, this is their card so that's what they're why they have a crush on you they feel a connection with you and this might be somebody you grew up with it might be a childhood friend as well somebody you went to school with somebody you went to college with as well with the death card now some of you might be um they've seen how you've just transformed through life like everything that you've gone through that you've changed in a positive way like you kind of have like that everything happens for a reason type of mentality you don't you don't stop like you're able to think things through but you also know when to rest like you're very playful outgoing and stuff but like you take time for you and i feel like that probably that's a little bit of a self-love type thing like you have a lot going on but you know when to back off like okay i need to recharge my battery type of thing and think things through let me go through the cougar assertive wise decisive you're being guided to be attentive towards the universal nudges in your life make your decision take a risk and step outside your comfort zone if you change your approach you change your direction every inspired action take taken will deliver you to your heart's desire what caught my attention when i was reading that um gosh let me go back to it i'm sorry pal two yeah i feel like with the that one's tying to the death card i feel like because of the situations that come up in that have come up within your life 
you've had to kind of redirect which way you're going and no matter what has happened no matter what you've had to go through it's like you've had this mentality this fighter mentality like i'm not going to give up this is not going to stop me i'm still going to go after what i want i'm going to get what i want and there's it's not going to hold me back kind of thing and i think that's possibly to you know that's why they see that in you and it's like it's just kind of like a wow type thing and the other thing i just noticed with the thinking woman that's an 11 and that's like soulmate so that's gonna tie in those two in that way there there's quite a bit of blues with you guys so i feel like you're very good at communication you know how to get your point across and i feel like that goes back to being like charismatic charming you're possibly funny outgoing for some of you it's not for all of you i know especially with a thinking woman some of you might be a little bit more introverted and they're that's another reason that's the reason why they're attracted to you so just trying to cover as much as i can but yeah there's just a lot of similar qualities i feel like both of your old souls it might be for like all of you almost like a lot of, a good percentage of you you this is a person you've known in a past life and you guys are like in communication or they're you know there's some type of communication they might see you on social media this isn't to say that it's just in person that sort of thing so that is what i have for you pile number two lilac butterfly uh, i hope that resonates i hope that makes sense let me know in the comment section below like share subscribe thank you guys for the support all the positivity i appreciate it thank you guys so much i hope you enjoy this reading and I hope to and I hope to see you guys at one of the next pick a card reading. So thank you guys. Bye pile number two. Hi pile number three. You are the mint green butterfly group. Today's pick a card reading is who has a crush on you? It is split off into two parts. Who has a crush on you and then why or what attracted them, you know, what caused them to develop, the crush to develop. Just as a reminder, it is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. Um, but everything is all set up and ready to go, so let's go ahead and get started. And just a quick shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for the love, support, positivity. I truly, truly appreciate it. I'm going to move your butterfly up here. And um, usually I kind of place the cards in the middle when I do my readings, but because of this being a two-parter, I wanted to keep it separate so I don't confuse myself. And you'll see in a minute why. So um, we're going to start off with who has a crush on you. Pile number three. You have Thumbelina expectations. The Blue Jay. Empowerment. Truth be told. In this indecision sorry and then the last three of the tarot cards so you have the three of wands the knight of cups and the moon a little bit of fire water let's see if i can get that in the frame i feel a very like strong energy with the person who has a crush on you pile number three not in a bad way but i feel like they're very um, very aware, aware of themselves, who they are, what they want in life. I feel like they can be indecisive at times, but for the most part, they're like a strong, strong energy. But they're also, um, you have someone who's very romantic, charming, loving, giving. I'll try to move this one over. I feel like they want to plan they plan things out but they're also at the same time it might be a little bit mysterious it might be a little secretive they're loyal though they're loyal to the people that they love the people in their circle they take care of them they're probably very honest as well let's look at the blue jay assertive daring universal wisdom you're being guided to be aware of synchronicities 
In your life, you are entering a time of intellectual and spiritual growth. New truths are forming each day. Be fearless. Trust your gut. The authentic be your authentic self, sorry. Take inspired action and what you desire will come to fruition. So for some of you, your crush is awakening. And that's why that card came up. They're waking up to it. And that might be why <clears throat> the moon card is there because it's kind of like they're aware of a deeper, deeper like realm connection kind of thing. For those of you that are aware, that will make sense to you. But if it doesn't, leave it. Just leave it for the people who are meant to get that message. I'm, what's really coming across to me is a little bit of the darkness. Not an evil kind of thing, like not, not at all. Um, but I feel like sometimes they might be too much in their head. Because you look at the blue jay and it's kind of like a little bit of a darkness. And then the indecision. And then the moon. Like I feel like sometimes they might be a little bit distant. Like they're kind of in their head and they may not seem like... For some of you it may seem like sometimes they're not all there because they might get lost in thought. And they're thinking. And that might just be part of the mis mysterious part aspect of this person pile number three and because that's really what captured my attention I feel like they don't it's not that they have a facade but I feel like they're not the type of person who is just immediately open to people especially with the three of wands like the way that he has his back to us and then even the and holy crap even the indecision like they have their back to us so it's not someone who is like just outgoing like hey how are you nice to meet you sort of thing and i'm not to say that they're anti-social they might be to a certain extent um but i feel like they're more intro introverted rather than extroverted red that's so funny. You have red on both of those, you know. Red might be, I don't know if it's like their favorite color. Maybe they wear a lot of red. It might be, I think this person, like I get like just a mysterious, like the tall, dark, handsome type of view idea, like in my mind. I'm getting the tattoos. But like once you crack open their shell, that's when that Knight of Cups energy comes through. Whether this be male or female, I'm sorry guys. But even though they're not like really in your face type of person, they're very like, like I said, I get that strong energy, like strong aura. Like when they step into a room, it's almost like you know they're there. Like you sense their presence. They may not be the one. I feel like they're more of the observer in the room. Like they'll be watching, like the people watching. That might be something they do, especially when they go out. Like, you know, yeah, they'll be talking and that sort of thing. I feel like they know their power and how strong they are. It's not like they're a jerk or, you know, about it in a way, like they're still kind and everything. Let me look at the Thumbelina. I want to make sure I read what that one is because it's about expectations, but let's see. What other meanings do we have for Thumbelina? I have not seen that movie in so long. I probably should watch it. <laughs> okay, exceeding expectations. People do not value what they know nothing of. Finding your own people, your true name. There was no one like you. Enjoy the challenges and learn from them. Rejection will take place. You do not have to accept relationships with those who you do not love. You will find your family and your kin. You are nature's child. I feel like for some of you, this person kind of feels alone at times. I feel like sometimes they're just kind of... Like, they don't feel like they belong. I'm, I'm kind of getting that loner vibe for this person. And this isn't to be negative at all. I'm just trying to describe the person, you know, that's that has a crush on you. 
because for whatever reason you've captured their attention. We're going to find out in a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I can give you guys what I can as far as, you know, trying to figure out who this person is. There is no one like you. Rejection will take place. And maybe there's something that happened in their past that made them turn their back on society, kind of withdrawn. That's what I'm getting. They're withdrawn. I feel like they're still outgoing and stuff as far as the people that they know, that they trust, that they get along with. But in meeting new people, it's not like they're really like, you know, just they don't come off as that super friendly type. They are, but that's not the impression that you would get of this person. And the empowerment, when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. Yeah, they're very authentic. And that would go into the Thumbelina one, that there is no one like you. Like, this person's just in their own, like, their own, their own breed <laughs> kind of thing. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to put it right now. And then with the blue jay, that I'm going to confirm that they are more of the observer type. Because look at the blue jay, how this just like perched on there. On the little, like, in the bush over there. And it's just like looking off into the distance. And then with the three of wands, even, they kind of just do the same thing. But man, when this person, like... When they love, they love, and it's not a game to them. They're dedicated. They're going to be loyal. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys. I feel like they're going to be honest. They're going to... I feel like the moon is just really what... Um, within. I don't feel like they're the type that's going to be keeping secrets from you. I just feel like that's the impression that someone would get from them. So let's find out why they have a crush on you, pile number three. Gretel Ingenuity. The Rabbit. Oh, you guys got two of the animal cards, so that's cool. Um, giraffe. I hope I have enough room for everything. I'll figure it out. Make it God's. mending i was just thinking to myself like you guys captured the attention of someone who's really withdrawn like you capture someone who's kind of almost unattainable is what i'm getting not emotionally unavailable but just like unattainable like i don't feel like they waste their time with people if that makes sense too um second chakra and then the two cards the Star and the Knight of Wands for your tarot. Oh, is that within view? No, it's not. Okay. How am I going to do this? <laughs> the Knight of Wands is off to the side, guys. I'm sorry. Can I just do this? I don't want to... Let's just stack those. Does that work? Yeah. And then you have the Star and the Knight of Wands. Okay, that's a little bit more better. So why does this person have a crush on you? Pile number three. I'm just trying to get a feel for everything right now. I feel like a lot of it is your outlook on life. I feel like for some of you, you've gone through something that they're aware of and they've seen how you've dealt with it, how you've come out of it. And it's almost like not only are they in awe, but it's like they realized how special you are and being able to do that. Yeah, you're a very optimistic person because you have the star and then the giraffe is also about, sorry, um, 
<clears throat> like you've brought in this new perspective for them like because they're a deep thinker already and I feel like for you guys you've given them this totally different outlook <clears throat> as well um let's see what else you guys yeah I feel like they see you as someone who's just very down to earth very hopeful cheerful at times you might travel quite a bit. I feel like you're passionate and they love that passion that you have. I'm very attracted to it. Let's look at the men. Oh, the ingenuity, the Gretel card. Gretel. You have empathetic qualities, you have sensory talents and skills, you can feel your way through life, your feelings are trustworthy, you need to create a safe and comfortable oasis, trust your senses, all six of them, others will love your true self, you are highly sensitive at present, at present, sorry, you cannot hide who you are. So I feel like what, if you guys, you are, you're like, you're not hiding anything from people, like you're very straightforward not in a rude type of way either it's just that you're like you're not forgive like unforgiving of who you are like you accept yourself for who you are and you know it's like a take it or leave it kind of thing and they admire that you know and that's part of the reason why they develop that crush on you I'm trying to see anything make it gods or at least the idea of my as soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives when there is no grasping, the right actions get shown, free me from my prison of my dear lord. Yeah, I feel like there's no controlling with you guys either, like you just kind of trust and everything and I, um, going back to Gretel, I feel like for talking about like some of you that might be empaths as well, it's just kind of like, you don't let things get to you too often, at least from what they see. This is what they see and why they've developed this crush on you, pile number three. It's a very different feel from the other two piles, I will say that, because I feel like with them they're more of a mysterious kind and it's kind of like you're this light, you're their star and you've brightened their world and that's why, part of the reason why they've developed that crush on you. I feel like you're just very warm and giving and you 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 value the relationships in your life because of whatever it is that you've gone through and it might be that you went through a breakup <clears throat> and why these two are together that you know it definitely makes sense on there um i wasn't really going for what does your person look like <laughs> kind of thing i probably need to do something like that for another pick a card reading like i said i mean for me just what i'm getting for a majority of you is just someone that has those mysterious like looks to them maybe a darker hair like i said the tattoos that sort of thing um but um going back to why they've developed a crush on you i think that's it you're just very creative you're very down to earth you take things for what they are and you bounce back and you keep going and you know you hold the people that you love dear um close to you and you're close to them and you probably do enjoy traveling you probably for some of you, you might travel quite a bit you might travel um for work the, the crush it doesn't have to be in person it might be somebody online you know on social media that follows you that sort of thing i feel like you're just very successful at everything that you do you just have this different outlook from what they have and it's just kind of it capture their attention and everything so um, I think that's all. Oh, that's all I have for you, pile number three. So I hope some of that resonates. If it did, let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys again for all the support. I truly appreciate it. And I will hope to see you guys on one of the next pick a card readings. So thank you guys. Bye, pile number three. Hi, pile number four. You guys are the hot pink butterfly. 
Today's pick a card reading is who has a crush on you. It's divided into two parts, who has a crush on you and why they've developed a crush on you. So um, I have everything set out ready to go. Just as a quick reminder, this is a general reading. So please, please, please keep that in mind. And we'll go ahead and get started with your reading and let's find out who has a crush on you. So let's move the butterfly up there and we will separate these. And I know when the rest, if you've seen my readings before, usually I place the cards in the middle because I have, I'm using the cards in two different ways. I'm putting the top row will be who has the crush on you, the second row will be why. So that's why it's going to be at the very top. So who has a crush on you, the frog prince, intimacy, the bee. self-sufficiency, treasure island, a healer of the ages. Oh, okay, I'm trying to see how I can do this. I don't want to cover the numbers. I've been kind of using those. Um, and then the three tarot cards the sun, the devil, and the eight of wands. Okay. I am going to say this, and I'm going to make it very clear, and this is not for all of you. Definitely probably not. I am not here to sugarcoat things. I read things by the cards. The cards have different meanings. If I do not use the meaning that you would like, then I'm sorry, but that's on you. I am just going by what I'm getting as I do the reading. Me turning over this card, the devil card, is my choice, my preference. If I feel that I want to do it, I will certainly do it. And I just cannot believe that people will go to the level of spreading that type of negativity because people aren't doing the readings that they want. I do the readings that I want in my style that is going to be the point that I'm making. It is not to be rude, but I am going to be holding my ground on that. If you don't like the way that I do my readings, no one is forcing you to read it, you know, to stay the whole time just because I flipped it over. I'm going by the meaning that I feel fits the situation. That's all there is to it. I am not here to give the reading, you know, you can't go into a reading expecting certain things. There's so many different meetings with the cards. It is, I mean, if that were the case, then there wouldn't be a need for all these different perspectives, all these different meetings and card if there was only one. So with that, I do it because I just, I feel more comfortable doing it that way. You don't have to like it. Just know that it's there. I am aware that the presence is there and I'm so sorry for the rest of you that have to hear this. It's just, I do not appreciate people telling me how I need to do my readings. You are more than welcome to do your own readings. You are more than welcome to view any other tarot reader on YouTube or in person. You are not forced to read, you know, view my my cards, my tarot readings. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. So I know the the card and the energy is there. And the eight of wands. Alright, so who has a crush on you pile number four? I'm so sorry you guys. I just it irritates me. <laughs> just like no I'm aware the cards are there and I'm gonna read them the way that's just how it is everyone has their own quirks I've seen other tarot readers do the same thing that I just did and if they don't like it I'm sorry I'm still here the reason I'm here is to help you guys and you know I'm here for this reading is to have fun that's all it is so I'm gonna drink a quick drink of water after the whole rambling Yeah. Okay. So for the two, there's two cards with the frog prince and the devil. They are sexually attracted to you. <laughs> they are very, very sexually attracted to you, this person. And I feel like you are attracted to them. I feel like it's a connection on both ends. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very, very hot, very attractive, caught your eye. Some type of eye candy is definitely present <laughs> as far as who has a crush on you. This person 
is very abundant. I feel like they're wealthy. I, ha you know, with Treasure Island, uh, Treasure Island and the self sufficiency card, they have like I f honestly I feel like they have everything. They're successful. They have the good looks. They have the money. Uh, yeah, so you're off to a very very good start as far as who has a crush on you. Now the Healer of the Ages card. I mean, yeah, I get the Jesus vibes. <laughs> so I feel like this one's person, either they have a lot of faith. They might be religious for some of you. That's not for everybody. I feel like some of them are very spiritually awakened as well. And I feel like they've gone through a lot of stuff in life where they've had to heal from. And they've gone through their own little dramas, traumas, that sort of thing. And they've come out victorious. They have. They're also, okay, so as with the looks, your person, I feel like, has that very outgoing, charming, charismatic, funny, they brighten people's day sort of thing. I feel like they have this beautiful, beautiful smile. I feel like for some of you, they might have blue eyes. Some of them might have hazel, but I'm getting blue for some of you um, as well. I feel like they're very warm. I kind of feel like they're kind of touchy-feely, but not... Like they they know their boundary like they they don't overdo it but i feel like you know they're kind of like you know put their like put their hand on your shoulder kind of thing or they're very in tune with people as well as what i get like they're very much a very a people person very just that sort of sense i'm not picking up on the introverts sorry guys <laughs> this is just what i'm picking up on as far as who has a crush on you and yeah, they have a lot of passion for you. <laughs> they're very passionate. I feel like they're always on the move. Like, I, they have so much going for them. They're so successful. I just get, like, happy, positive energy right now from them. Um, some of them, they might be a sex addict, you know? the same that's all and especially with intimacy too like they're yeah you know when they're in a relationship they're that's their love language um they're not shy about it at all and uh, the b creativity creativity Did I, ever, I think i said that wrong in one of the other rings i'm so sorry if i did um cooperation productivity you're being guided to change something in your life becoming become inspired follow your heart and creatively build your future with today's decisions you have no limitations and there are no boundaries to your capabilities any assistance you need will always be found sorry yeah they're just so successful like oh, just power manifestors everything comes to them easily like, like i feel like people are just drawn like they're just like a people magnet and i feel like this is someone who has many people interested in them as well sort of thing so they have a crush on you, but they have like so many people like chasing after them as well. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, I'm just getting positive vibes from this person. I just, that's kind of what comes across. So let's find out um, if I pick up on anything else, I'll mention it. But yeah, I just feel like they're very very happy go lucky charming they capture everyone's attention people listen to them people want to be in their presence people want to be around them and um, partier probably like i said especially um and yeah very very affectionate <laughs> very affectionate um yeah so let's see why they have a crush on you pile four Rumple, stilt skin, secrets. I'm gonna move this up here. Elk, I have not gotten that one before. Perfectionism. Thinker. Patience. And then there's two tarot for you guys. Um, Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Okay, for some 
for some of you, like what I'm getting is kind of like, I'm getting, they want to rescue you. Like they see you as this damsel in distress and they want to help you. They want to protect you. They, I know that's not what, because I know the cards were like that, but this is what was coming through right now. And what I'm getting, like, I'm, ge okay. I'm kind of getting like the Gaston and Belle from Beauty and the Beast vibes, almost. If that makes sense, because I feel like they see you, they put you on this pedestal. I think like they're so attracted to you. They're sexually attracted to you. They think you're perfect. I feel like for some of you, they feel like you're you're their dream come true. That's why they have a crush on you and not all these other people that are interested in them. Let's see what else. I feel like you're kind of the opposite of what they're used to as far as relationships. As far as you're not like 100% the type that they usually go for or that they've encountered. Like there's something different about you that stands out that just really caught their eye. Um, the Elk, Stamina, Awareness, Tenacity. You're being guided to keep your eyes, mind, and heart on your desires. Marshal your power to follow through and break free from discomfort. Expand and stretch yourself in ways you never thought possible. You are a teacher and student of life. A thinker, patience. I feel like that goes with that one as well. I feel like... Um, hmm. With you, it's more of a deeper type of connection. It's not one based on looks only. I feel like their past relationships have been on looks and probably why they've... I wouldn't be surprised if this person had a lot of looks, <laughs> a lot of sex, sexual partners. And you, you're just... Like, they, they want to protect you. They want to save you. They want to rescue you. And that's why it's so much more different. It's not like a superficial type of connection. Like, for a lot of you, for some, well, maybe for some of you, but for honestly, for a lot of you, though, and I didn't get this vibes with the other piles, but I feel like they want something with you, like as far as a relationship, because you're so different. They see you, like the way that the um he's holding the, the pentacle in his hands, like I feel like that's you. Like he just wants to protect you and keep you safe. And he's so in awe, and I mean, just like look, like he's just so mesmerized by you. So mesmerized by you. And you might come off to them kind of like you're always on the protective, like you're kind of just weary about people and not like you're kind of not always trustful and they see that and they, I think you're more for some of you pile number four, you're probably a little bit more on the introverted side and you're not just kind of like the party girl type that they might be used to. Sorry for any party girls. <laughs> That's just what I'm picking up on right now with this energy. You just bring this whole different depth, 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 sorry, not death, sorry, um, to their life that other people haven't brought before. Like you're just very understanding, warm, kind-hearted. You take the time to listen to people, to connect. You don't give up. They see you as perfect. This is what, you know, this isn't to describe... It is to describe you, but it's kind of like the qualities that they see in you is more like it. And that's why the perfectionism. So you may not think, no, I'm not perfect, especially with what I'm picking up on. They do. And that's so sweet. <laughs> I love that. Um, did I, I don't think I read the Rumple. Did I read the Rumple Stilton card, you guys? I don't think I did. Let's see what the meanings are. So, impossible task, unkeepable promises, unfair agreements, the power of the name, 
There is a way out of an obligation. You have been misrepresented. You will find solutions. There is power in knowing a being's true name. Fal promises falsely one cannot be kept. I get the feeling that you have been done wrong, pile number four, by somebody or some people, either the person that you've been with, whether it be family, maybe if this is someone that you work with, co-workers, or even like on social media, like people bashing you for whatever reason. I feel like you've been done wrong and they see the truth about you. They see your true colors and they think it's beautiful. And that's why they want to protect you because they see these people, they see through the gossip, the rumors, you know, things that are being said. Like they see beyond all that. They see what you're really like and they just want to protect you. And that's probably why the Rumpelstiltskin card and the Knight of Wands is there because those really do seem to tie in together right now with that. I feel like for some of you, just very spiritual, especially with the white, all the white and patience, like you have this faith and you just kind of keep going. Like, you know, you just, you kind of try to ignore it. You try to ignore the haters, the people that are trying to bring you down, the negativity. They see you and that tenacity, yeah, that tenacity is tying in there and not wanting to give up and keep going in life. And it's just, it's kind of like it blew their mind and they see you on this different aspect and like you're not the superficial type and they see that and that's why it's so it's like a different type of crush for them and you're this different type of person i'm trying to see if there's anything else that i can give you guys for some of you honestly this might be a soulmate and maybe that's why they want a little bit more because the thinker has the four four and the Four of Wands and Tarot, um, the card is about, um, sorry, <laughs> the soulmates and like that connection. And then even then the patience, it's 16, but that's a seven, another like spiritual number that you have going on there. Yeah. Um, it's very beautiful. I, you guys are very, very special, pile number four. You're different from the rest, and they see it. And hopefully after this, it kind of opens your eyes to see that you've caught the attention of somebody who's kind of always chased after others, and others have chased after them because of their looks and everything, and being desired, and now it's like they're, they're crushing on you, so... Um, let me just see anything last minute. That's all I have for you, um, pile number four. Beautiful energy. I love it. This one's, this one was a really great reading too. I'm sorry for rambling on. I just had to get that off my chest. I'm just, you know, this is my channel. I'm going to do it the way that I want to. And no one's forced to listen to it at the end of the day and if you feel like you are then that's I'm sorry that's on you I'm, I'm just going by what I read and what I come across and if it's not you know what you think is right then you have the power to create your own channel I'm just doing it the way that I I feel is right and what I'm getting as far as when I'm reading it so there's there's that but pile number four you guys had like I said a very very beautiful reading I very very glad I could read these cards for you guys and I hope that helps I try to um, limit or figure out who it is that has a crush on you and I uh, just thank you guys so much for your time please let me know in the comment section below if anything resonates comment share like subscribe thank you guys again for all the support I really appreciate it and I hope again that you did enjoy this reading thank you for stopping by and subscribe viewers thank you so much for your support and viewing another pick a card reading but i'm wishing you guys all the best sending you love light positivity um, and warmth for your day and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day evening night whatever time it is <laughs> day that you're watching this so thank you guys i appreciate it bye pile number four